I'm sorry, I've had a stroke as well and I get confused sometimes. Um, connect and speakability uh, have, have got us together here. We have all got aphasia and at times there are a lot of us that don't get on very well. So Bill is going to to us about aphasia and what they do. Yes? Good afternoon, and I hope you have a lovely lunch with today. Uh, my name is Lindsay, and I work with uh, Connect. I, uh, I had a stroke, and um, with regard to myself, um, before, I started working in Bournemouth, and I did a trainer about these years management. Before I looked about working about, about, about me, and um, one day, I had one day, one day I had a stroke when I was having dinner with friends. In one Stead second, my life changed rapidly, and everything that I had, I gone. It's all of you who had a stroke now. What happened? That happened with people, and you know you need to do things yourself. People ask me what helped me when I had my stroke. The load of things, the hundred things. But for me, I've got a I've got a phone. Now most people are thinking, well, what is how this it helps me. I'm just going to show you what I've got. It's a Samsung Note 4. It's a huge thing, you can see it. It's great for me, because I can see. That's, that's, that's great for me, that one. But for me, everything is in the same, same one things. So I've got, I've got my, my cellular phone, I've got my, um, really, the whole thing. But it helps me to uh, organize myself, what's going on. So that's one thing I do. When I had my stroke in hospital, I couldn't talk, walk, I couldn't write. And it took me about five months to talk and I knew I needed to write. And what happened, this helps me and I can write myself. It takes time, it took two hours, sorry, two years to do that, but there are things I can I try my fonts. So for me, they're quite huge, so I can understand, and it really helps me. And it's great when I'm around, because now I work with Connect, and I, I work with Stroke Association as well. So it's great to have anything with me. So I do that. <clears throat> now, when I'm at home, um, I, plus when I, when I go to meetings, I, t I take a notebook. Uh, they are brilliant. Um, these are great. But there are loads of people thinking, hang on, I don't understand these things at all. Why take your notebook with you? Um, when you start things, it's hard to remember things. And I, I have got a, a, I've not, a, I've got a, a wife or a partner, just me. So um, it's just me, really. So if I forget, 
It doesn't, it doesn't happen. So you have to do it yourself to do that. So I can do it myself. And of course, I do things like uh, to do lists. I've got loads of to do lists. <laughs> my, all my friends know I've got hundreds of things like that. But you know what? When, you're, when I've done them, I tick it. And you know what? I, can, I feel it's really good that I've done it. And I think, actually, I've done that. That's really good. So I like that as well. <coughs> what happens with me? I love working with people um, and friends, really. Because, you know what? There, there, are, there are other people who they sit, they sit there. You need to go out to get people. You have to. Otherwise, you find it really hard and quite lonely as well. So I love working with people. Uh, now I can talk. Most people say I talk too much now, my friends. Um, I do when uh, friends. I've got um, a, a group uh, with they do art. I'm all for our art but we have a good laugh and a good time with them. That's good. Um, and now I do training with people who, most people who've got phasia, because most people have no clue what phasia is. So it's, it's great for them. <clears throat> when I know things, I try to understand what's going on. We did a training with this police and um, most of them, they find it difficult to understand what, what they know, what the strokes happen, they have a clue what phasia is, and they know that. And now I do saw uh, Dorchester Hospital, I do a training with them, and a pool hospital as well, and talk with them on that one. So that's me, really, and um, thank you very much indeed for that. That's great. I'm Stella. I live in Liverpool. I uh, had a stroke uh, in hospital eight months, so I know what it feels like. I have a aphasia. Now, everybody uh, know what aphasia is, do they? Uh -uh. I don't think so. Uh, I um, I used to have a wheelchair, but gone now. Yay! Uh, I have problem understanding words. I communicate properly, but have a problem understanding word. I understand what people told me, but I don't know how to express it, okay? Um, I always uh, know what to do, uh, but oh God, I always know what to say, but can't say it. It frustrates me. Anyway, um, I carry. Oh God, I've forgotten my card. Damn. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I carry a card <laughs> to explain what a failure is. Um, it help to understand, uh, help me to understand people and help them to understand what they're about to say. It work. Uh, I want to learn uh, about a failure. I still practice my words every day. I practice my words um, till 
read books? Well, teeny weeny books, uh, uh, really. Okay, uh, help uh, to explain, no, mm. help to recover now. Yeah. Help my brain to recover. Uh, uh, I really value what uh, uh, people say to me, what I say to them, and leave it, uh, stay with them for a minute. Um, I need to take about anything, anything, just a chair. Oh, are you pretty, baby? Oh, I feel lovely. Uh, uh, anyway, I call it self-therapy. God, I do it myself. I'm a politic, no, I'm a positive person. God almighty. Good. <laughs> 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 I, I uh, faced, no, a, a smile on my face. Um, tell me what I am thinking. Frown on my face doesn't appear. Yeah. Uh, I get through with a smile. A day. Keep well worried away. And, uh, yeah. I laugh. I always laugh. Uh, you might think that it's a bit hard, but I laugh at my own reflection in the mirror. I laugh at everything. I, people don't realise what makes life funny, but I couldn't speak, I couldn't talk, for a long time, and now I'm getting on with it. Uh, I run a speakability group in Liverpool, meeted other aphasics. Oh, meeting other aphasics, good. I try to eat healthy. I try to eat Fruit and vegetable, drink plenty of water, and take gentle exercise. I something uh, try practice your words. Really, uh, practice your word every day. Every day you uh, think of a good one and save it. When uh, any way you like, save it. Uh, 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 facial expression, well, uh -uh. <laughs> uh, meet other people. Really, can't, uh, I can't bring a card, I forgot it. Is. I can't bring a card to say that I. Uh, affected by a failure, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, be positive, really be covered. Don't give up on yourself, look after yourself. Right. Uh, uh, I can't say this you did to put on the front of lifted FBI Adley Church. Yeah. 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 Nice uh, 
Super bad of agony, the FBI did not even though it's found a bit. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to. Oh, thank you. I'm next, I suppose. Um, <laughs> um, my name is Paul Hodson, and I have aphasia. Um, and how did I cope? Uh, first, um, I'll explain my uh, previous life. Uh, the usual, really, married, divorced, no children. Uh, a job in the uh, NatWest uh, and the Royal for uh, uh, 30 years. Um, uh, in London and then uh, Edinburgh, and I'm still in Edinburgh now. Um, the usual thing, eating badly, smoking badly, drinking badly. And then um, I was waiting for my operation for the triple bypass and all of a sudden I had a stroke plus uh, aphasia. So it's handy, I was already in the pharmacy but that's it. Um, so, as I say, I had a, a stroke and aphasia. Um, so, then I did uh, the uh, speech therapy um, plus uh, physio. I'm waiting to the uh, operation and discharged in May 08. And then various problems, the shock treatment, you know, the paddles, uh, the um, ablation, which is a um, a groin to the heart and they have a wire and they do something I'm not sure what um, and magically you are no at trial fibrillation uh, but uh, actually I still have at trial fibrillation um, I also had a problem with the thyroid um, function and just a small thing, um, cellulite as well. So um, obviously I don't have a job now, so what instead and I did two years for the speech and <coughs> language therapy, um, the physio, and I all still have a exercise class as well. Um, this is the speakability group in Edinburgh. Um, for, for the first time, I was there in 
um, May o, um, 08, all the way now. Um, and we did a, um, every month we'll have a chat about the um, last month. And also we have a, um, a trip somewhere as well. Um, so as I say, I don't have a job, so what instead? And I did various things now, um, volunteering generally. Um, the Chest Heart Stroke Scotland, I do a talk to the companies about um, aphasia. Um, the various universities and hospitals I go out explaining about aphasia. And generally it's about communication because I didn't realize at all. But now I do, so I decided we'll do explain to everyone. Oh. Um, aphasia is a funny um, uh, what's it? Um, aphasia. Um, a funny thing, really. It's a various problems, and it's up and down. Um, so hearing, reading, plus writing and speaking, it's a different story to uh, the same person will have a different story. My story, um, I suppose, um, hearing, um, I will watch the tone and face and hands um, for a clue. <laughs> Um, I have a problem with numbers, names and months, etc. Numbers especially, I can't hear the numbers. I know, in my brain, I know the numbers, but I can't hear the numbers. Um, generally, I will, um, can I, can you repeat, please? Because that means it's stretched and for processing the subject. Um, and of course, I have aphasia, the, the card somewhere as well. <laughs> it's in my pocket <laughs> down there. Um, <laughs> reading, um, I need silence and no interruptions. Um, otherwise, I'm useless. Um, books, 
I just do about six pages and that's it. But uh, that before that, yeah, I'm not interest, interested at all. So at least I know it's better. Um, the presentation um, I I prefer seeing the presentations before um, the event so say here I want to read first and then I'm okay then um, speaking as I say in January 08 I just said yes and no and that's it so at least I know that I'm better. Um, so I can drone on ab about aphasia to the audience. Um, interruptions. This is interesting. Uh, it's imperative that you must wait for me not butt in um, that that's my press preference anyway um, because otherwise um, you, you have your um, vocabulary and you want to test that and that's important. Um, uh, writing, I have a um, cheating really because I, I, w I don't do um, writing now. I just transfer to the Dragon, dragon Dictation. So um, the word, the um, Speaking to writing, um, and magically I'll have a email then. Um, my um, problem. Um, it is um, I want to do an email but I can't remember the words um, so I will write a list of um, things and practice the words and it's again this is me and I'm not sure why but things like for above then 
this, etc. I have a problem. Not the long words, I'm fine, but it's the short ones, and I'm not sure why. Um, drawing um, pictures, gestures um, are very good. Um, I'm okay now, I don't have to do that, but it's for the first, um, say, um, two years or so, I, I, that, it, that'll be useful. N now I'm, I'm fine. But, I, but um, I, I um, rep, re, recommend that you'll have something at, um, just in case. Um, so, I suppose it's about up, upwards and onwards. Um, I know that my vocabulary vocabulary will um, improve but I'm guessing that not a hundred percent but that's okay because I'm, I know that it's about progress and and um, and that I must remember that as well. Um, that's it. Is there anybody that wants to talk? The last um, gentleman, um, I know what you're feeling. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, um, 30 years I've got a stroke and still now it's hard to, as you can tell, um, talking and everything. So it's, Keep it up. <laughs> Thank you. This is for Paul. I'd forgotten about it, but I used to have the same problem with small words. Somebody, when I went back to school to learn to read and write, they used to get me to read out loud because I was misseeing the little words, the big ones I got right. The little ones, I thought the was and. So by reading out loud to someone and they corrected me immediately, right. not at the end of the sentence when I forgot what it was all about, immediately, after about 18 months, slightly better. Right. <laughs> That's good enough. Um, reading books. Um, if you feel that you won't be able to... I've got a friend who's got uh, 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 aphasia now. And I was thinking if I gave her reading books, whether that would help her brain sort of remember some of how the words sound, because she's not happy to come out into the community at the moment, or really to be in conversation. Um, she speaks through her partner. But I was wondering if you would feel that speaking books would, talking books or whatever, the, the, the tell the story Go, would um, help. 
um, you do little um, ones first. Um, little, because um, I went to school for th five years for um, to read. To read, they read to me, but they were only little people. Um, but it got me going. Is there anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I uh, had a, a little girl, so I uh, watched her uh, read the books to me. And any uh, um, sm small ones, baby boots. And uh, also, you mentioned about the, uh, the partner. Uh, I think you've got to leave your partner for one, you know, five minutes, and then because it g gives you a little bit more confidence every time. I, well, that's my, uh, my opinion. Well, I'd uh, use a Beano and Dandy. Oh. <laughs> and these small words, and it's not a lot of them, and they go better and better, and you get better in the as well. Panel questions that we're going to ask the panel to answer. So the first question, it's hard to remember names and numbers. What helps? John. John, you've put up your name. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, and... Writing it down. Writing yeah? it down. Yeah. Paul, do you have anything to add? Um, um, not for numbers. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still lost. Um, uh, but uh, um, names, um, things like... Um, uh, I was just trying to think. I mean, I know what some uh, um, Bob is a a a, 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 um, a man in the uh, the speakability group, and I know him because he's a a, a gardener, and it's it's a um, yeah, uh, uh, associated yeah. or a two numbers, uh, two names, uh, uh, wife and son. But, you know, that, that's me. I mean, it's <laughs> different, really. I would say um, I'm always... Colin, Fred, things like that, because I can't remember the names. That was before the stroke. <laughs> but now I'm really nice. <laughs> no, nah, I'm always uh, Fred. But. Yeah, I, sometimes, um, sometimes I draw them in the air. It's in uh, uh, numbers. And, you know, I, I know because it's the sign. I know it in my own mind. And then I can say. No, sorry, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, there are things that help me. Um, again, I've got my, my, got my little, um, my phone. And I've, I've got uh, photos of people to understand things. I remember who they are, and that helps me a lot of things like that. Yes, it's really helped me on that one. Thank you. I'll go on to the next question, which is, um, it's difficult to work things out sometimes. What helps when you're really stuck? Bill, perhaps we could start with right, you. Right, so that <clears throat> when I have my stroke, I have really hard what what day is coming, or yesterday, and they, or is it yesterday or tomorrow? 
Even now, I think, oh, when Sunday, oh, no, sorry, some um, Monday, oh, sorry, Thursday, and take hours under what's going on. Um, I have, I've got one sheet which we'll give with people about it. It shows what day w works with me. So I will get some uh, photocopies with people, um, but it's, it's helped me what's going on. So I will do that for you with Venice. My, my thing is my phone. Uh, I always write uh, notes and dates, and it's my own uh, reference. When I get stuck, I get leave it alone and come back to you. It's easier then. Do you want me to start? Yeah. yeah well, That's the reason why I can't um, explain. Sometimes I can't. Do you want to say what Jane said? Yeah, it is. Um, Jane, do you want to share with us what you said? No, I can't. Um, it's. God, now I'm going to be talking. Um, if you want to say something, sometimes you get it completely and utterly wrong. But. <laughs> Now, since I've had my stroke, it's t taken a long time, but I am starting to get back to normal and say the right things at the right time. But it has taken a long, long time. There you go. Okay. That's All right, so off the hook. <laughs> Thank you. Moving forward, if you or others get very frustrated and upset, I'm in the garden then, <laughs> when my wife and my daughter was like, uh, not upsetting me, it's just like angry, it's just like, it's easier in the garden, in the, uh, just fresh air, sorry. Yeah, you, uh, you hope that you have a, a space to ch chill and then try again. Anyone else? Yeah. I don't get angry. <laughs> I don't. Just happy. That's all the time. I get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gin and tonic. <laughs> That's even worse. I think at times you want to really scream um, yeah. and, and you're really angry and if, if you can't talk, that's that hard, that hard and you're really angry. And I have to say when I had my stroke, um, yeah, I, I was, someday I was crying because so angry, we couldn't talk. But now I have to, you have to say, chill. It's hard, but yeah. And you know what? It works. Mm. Of course, someday you get really angry. Of course, we, we all the same. But we, you have to do that. Okay, so the last question is, what helps you to feel in control after a stroke and aphasia? What helps you to feel you're in control? <laughs> no, I'm not having that yet. Um, it's nice now, 
When I had my stroke, I didn't say or do anything to anybody. But now I can come up here and talk, and it's easy now. Um, and that is what life is all about, is getting back to what you want to do. Well, I, 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 I wasn't really in, 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 in control, uh, but that's okay because I was still testing my brain, really, um, and then I know um, um, but feel in control I'm not sure what does that mean ask, ask the panel <laughs> <laughs> I never fail in, in control. Even so, yeah. About 11, you know, seven years ago, I went to a group called Connect in London and we did North, North, North West Doctor and Nurses, yeah? <laughs> and we did that, I thought, we're doing something to help ourselves now. So I was happy now, really happy to have that. Yeah. Uh, I had my stroke uh, in 2001, and um, I went, uh, uh, fortunately, uh, I went to um, uh, Walton Hospital uh, for seven week, uh, months, and I had a, a good um, speech therapist, but I listened to her and I cried and, you know, I laughed and cried, but uh, we both worked together, I think. And then uh, it started dawning on me, oh, she's the expert. So I just, uh, every day I do something to, uh, alleviate, I'll say a good word, alleviate. Um, the, the, uh, she is always in my head, at the back of my head, um, because I couldn't use the phone, and she told me tips how to unif uh, use the phone, and I'd done it. And here I am now, standing <laughs> in front of you. So it works. It's slowly, slowly. Is there anything else that anybody wants to say or do? Um, that um, the the man that father father is away. Um, I. Hi. He, he was he was saying angry about the um, things. Well, I was I um, I could do it now. Um, <laughs> my speaking clearly and precise when I'm angry. Yes. Weird. You, you're right. I'm the same. If when I went, when I went to talk, and all the the, the swear words, it's oh, yeah. clear. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and you think, well, how's it working? Yeah. I don't know. There's something there in here. I don't know what. But yes, I'm the same on that one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not an aphasic, but help t 
to run a speakability group not far away, and we find that, um, I know we were talking strategies, music is a fantastic help. Singing, um, listening, but singing in particular, and I think it's been proven with children learning to read that if you sing, and I thought about that when you were talking, when you started singing, you said that word so easily when you sang it, didn't you? Um, and as I say, we, we don't do it every week, we meet weekly. We don't do it every week, but certainly once a month we have a sing song. And if some of the men, sorry, don't want to do it, hey, you know, that, that's not a problem. But it really is very, very helpful. And it just gives people confidence. Yeah, I can say those words because I can sing them. I just thought I'd mention that. Well, um, with me, I do up at Biddeford now once a month, singing. So we're, we're, we're getting there with it all. Right, anybody else? Um, I'm interested to hear if there's anybody else. I have difficulty recognizing people. I'm fine with people that I see frequently, but sometimes people that I see um, probably maybe three or four times in as many months, but I know, I, I don't always recognize them. And it only becomes apparent when they look at me and say, hello, how are you? And then I think, oh yeah, I know them. <laughs> Does anybody else have that? Everybody, isn't it? Thank you. All of us. i just tell you about a rather funny thing that happened to me. By the way, I don't use names because I cannot remember names. It used to really upset me that I couldn't remember names. So I never remember names. So I don't use them, ever. But I was taken to Newcastle Airport, which is near where I live, uh, for a, just a trip out. And I saw this guy in the coffee shop and I smiled and nodded and got a coffee. And he smiled and nodded back. And I thought, oh, I know him. So when I went back for my next coffee, I thought, I'll just speak to him and ask him how I know him. And he said, bonjour, comment ça va? And I realized it was Gerard Houllier, the Liverpool manager I'd seen on television. <laughs> Very embarrassing. So I said, oui, ça va? And I left. <laughs> so it never gets better, but it can get funnier. A slightly different question. Um, I had a stroke uh, 20 odd years ago. Um, one thing I found is when you're trying to explain something and then someone tries to help you, how do you cope? I found that I got more frustrated than I was originally. Until in the end, I felt like telling them to go forth and multiply for another <laughs> expression. How do you deal with that type Which of thing? Which one? Uh, the, the one, the, the, the person who's trying to, to help you. How do you feel when they, they, you're trying to get a word out and they give you every alternative under the sun, bar the ruddy word you want? How do you feel about that? Um. You, you just go slow and say, hang on a minute, and then I will talk, but, and it'll be at my pace, not at their pace. And hopefully, like mine, it's getting better now. Um, but to start with, it was at my pace, not at anybody else's pace. Okay, thanks very much. It just remains for me to say a huge thank you to our panel and to our speakers, Stella, Bill, Paul, and, and the expert panel. Thank you very much, and Jane for chairing. Thank you.